hello everyone welcome back to another video breaking news guys tinibu has been declared the president of the federal republic of nigeria guys this is shocking this is shocking nigeria is a fake state where impunity is being rehearsed and being dressed up Impunity is being decorated. Nigeria is a fair state where corruption is preferred than integrity. It is unfortunate. INEC went ahead to announce Tinibu as a president, as the winner of this election. We all know with evidence that Tinibu did not win this election. But INEC went ahead and missed every opera, I missed all the pain, I missed all the uh, the beavers, the collation of results, the uh, the, uh, the 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 toggery, the uh, stealing of ballot papers. A lot. This was not an election. It was not an election. So what they would have done was for them to, what INEC would have done, if INEC was really, really after credibility, was for them to do a rerun. Mostly for, a, for some states that a lot of things happened. Some people were even killed. Some states, I had in Nabia state, those ones, they didn't even get ballot papers. They didn't even, this about 93 million people that registered to vote, not even, or not even half voted. People were different, franchised. We know that Peter Obi won this election. Peter Obi won this election. But it is a pity that Nigeria is a fake state. Nowhere in the world, this will not happen anywhere in the world in the first place because there's no way APC, there's no way there will be continuity with APC after this painful eight years. After these eight years of tears and sorrow, of death, of pain, of killings, of, uh, of hunger, of poverty, you want to tell me that Tinibu want to build on, on uh, Buhari's foundation? It is just unacceptable. This is unacceptable. With every sense of it, it is unacceptable to Nigerians. Dele Faro to me said Nigerians are not citizens. Indeed, Nigerians are actually not citizens. The voices of Nigerians are not heard. Even when Nigerians came out, they came out in mass. They came out with the hope that the man Peter Gregory Obi gave to them. They came out believing that they would take back their lives. Believing that they will take back their destinies. Unfortunately, because Nigeria is a fake state. Dele Farotimi said it. He said, we want peace, but you are hiding the truth. Watch these videos, guys, and I'll be right back. Fellow Nigerians, the INEC is sitting on an illegality. It has violated section 38 of the electoral code and it's based on that illegality that we are working it said if you read it section 30 it says the presiding officer after an election shall i'm not a lawyer but when you hear lawyers say shall that is a mandatory statutory responsibility it's not me shall so INEC violated that and is continuing with this illegality and expecting Nigerians. Well, we have violated the law. Well, if you are not happy with that, go to court. It's just like you catch a thief. He says, oh no, let me go and take the stuff I stole home before you take me to court. So the basic premise of all these things, the, 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 the impunity is an illegality outrightly from the beginning so 
What gives any government, anywhere in the world, in a democracy, what gives it legitimacy is clean, free, fair, and credible election. If that election is contested anywhere in the world, the credibility of that government is, is, is called to question. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we can see that Nigeria is gradually, gradually moving towards disintegration. You see this one Nigeria that I'll be preaching about? One day, Nigerians will gradually walk towards disintegration. Disintegration. Someday, we, 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 Nigerians should remember, this is a Muslim, Muslim government. The voices of, the, of Christians in Nigeria is going to be forgotten. Where you have the Senate president, the president, the vice president, all Muslims. Nine political parties that could come, they would that could come together to form a third force. They did not do it. Everybody is fighting for their selfish interest. At the end of the day, the ordinary Nigerians will be the ones. I will take the bullets. It is just unfortunate, guys. They want they want them to go to court. If you are aggrieved, go to court. <laughs> oh my goodness. Court, the Nigeria court. Do people have confidence in the court in the court system in Nigeria? Get justice in the court system in Nigeria. These are questions that obviously we have we all, we all have the answers. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Till next time, I love you. Bye.